A private company is behind me right now investigating this crash. And this is a busy stretch of roadway where a lot of tractor trailers travel. And the one that was involved in this morning's crash did have a dash cam on it. So police are hoping that that will help them determine exactly what happened here. But in the meantime, this is what they figured out so far. You can see by the sheer dynamics of the metal there, they, that's where the most serious injuries are. A nearly head-on collision with a tractor trailer. Police think this SUV driven by 21-year-old Alyssa Nolt pulled onto 322 and hit the black Chevrolet, forcing it into the tractor trailer. That tractor trailer was driven by 45-year-old David Kreidler of Easton. First responders had to tear the roof off the Chevrolet to get the two people inside out. So we have our chaplains come out and do kind of a, you know, see how the morale is and you know and see just basically how well they are you know processing what's going on in front of them. Nolt later returned to the scene and police say Kreidler is doing all right as well. Crews spent five hours reconstructing the crash before reopening the road. What well, might be a mere inconvenience for someone today taking a detour. Uh, somebody's going to go home tonight to an empty chair or to go to sit by side someone in the emergency room. Police say after spending 34 minutes trapped in that Chevrolet, the man sitting in the passenger seat did later die at the hospital, and the woman who was driving that Chevrolet is now in the hospital fighting for her life tonight. Police have not released the names of that woman or that man. An autopsy on the man is scheduled for tomorrow. So far, no charges have been filed. In Lancaster County, Caitlin Smith, News 8.